New tonight, a housing transition program just received an extreme makeover. The West Medford program helps women start over after spending time behind bars. Officials say the outside changes will have a big impact on the lives inside. NBC 5's Nikki Torres has the story. More than 60 volunteers working on one house that's helped change the lives of many. Every year we look for a local project that we can do to help the community. This year Helping Hands teamed up with Hope and a Future Ministries. This is a house that ministers to women coming out of jail and coming out of prison. It's kind of a halfway house. Sometimes they come out of prison and jail with absolutely nothing. We're there to support them and walk them through the full cycle of the transition back into the community. Everything from budgeting to finding work. to community involvement. People's perspective needs to change and so that not only for people to come alongside and, and, and know that there's hope for these people, but for the people to know that there's hope for themselves. Rowena knows how hard the transition can be. Just a few years ago, she was in and out of jail. People think that, oh, they can't be helped and that's not true. Now, she's lived in the house for two years and is an intern for Hope in a Future really just a whole community coming together even if they don't realize it to support those within the community. Which is exactly what Helping Hands is doing. A hand up, we don't want to give a, a hand out, but we love to give a hand up for folks who have a need. Giving a hand up. Get an irrigation line through. And using a lot of elbow grease in the process. We're doing new siding, new paint, landscaping, new sidewalks, in-ground sprinkler system. Do you feel it? No. The 60 volunteers putting in the time say it's all worth it. The kids are great. They come out with a great attitude. They come out with lots of energy. For me, it's a pleasure to help others because it's like doing what Jesus did, you know, because he came here to serve, not to be served. That's what all these volunteers are following, the foundation of God. It's so easy just to do things and to be to, to get applause and you know the like the, the yeah that was so cool but but especially to give love is the most important thing and that's what we are trying to do in everything that we do. In West Medford, Nikki Torres, NBC Five News. Volunteers visiting from the Dominican Republic will be here for the next week and a half. If you'd like to get involved with Helping Hands, it says it's always accepting new volunteers and donations. For more information, you can visit our website at klbi5.com.